It's news people all across the state have been waiting for. The Leo Frigo Bridge will officially open Sunday morning. The Department of Transportation says work is finished and opening the bridge just in time for the big game Sunday afternoon. NBC26's Raquel Lamel is live at 5 with more. DOT and state leaders say the timing couldn't be better. They knew they had an aggressive schedule, but finishing early is even a surprise to them. A packed room as people wait to hear the big news. As of this Sunday morning by 9.30 uh, in the morning, uh, the Leo Frigo Memorial Bridge will be open. 102 days after the sagging bridge closed down, repairs are complete. 12 days ahead of schedule. Structurally, everything's ready to go. Crews working seven days a week saying it wasn't easy. With everything freezing in these temperatures, equipment wouldn't run. I'm just have problem with air hoses freezing, jackhammers freezing. Repairs and the investigation on the bridge estimated to cost around $20 million, 90% of which will be covered by federal funding. The benefit to the federal government stepping up in this case is it allows us to make sure our resources stay focused on projects like 41 and others across the state, and we don't have to take money away from those projects. The bridge investigation is still underway. DOT staff hope to have results and release them to the public by the end of the month. Now, DOT leaders are saying that all the work and repairs done on the bridge didn't have an impact on any of the other projects in our area. Everything is still running on time. Live in the Green Bay Newsroom, Raquel Amell, NBC 26.